Good morning. Hi everyone. Today is Monday and it's already noon. I am sitting here in my bed and breakfast room downstairs for two single people or a couple who likes to sleep separately. I didn't know that this bed has always been here without my knowing that they could be split into two single beds instead of one king bed. So now I could accommodate two people instead of one or a couple only in this room. I'm listening to my Balinese music and here I have rearranged and make, made a room to put a writing desk. Since this is the only room that doesn't have writing desk, I need to buy a writing desk just for the desk to sit here and write a book if they so choose or if he or she choose, chooses. Yeah, so I am here because my housekeeper is cleaning my bedroom upstairs, tidying up, and that's it. Okay, I'm going upstairs to get my cordless phone because I placed it next to my bed now instead of downstairs. So I'm going back to get that one since I'm planning to sit in the bedroom, I mean in the bed and breakfast room today. So let's see if the room is already done, but she left already, she went already to the servant's quarters because he has to do some laundry. So anyway, this is my room, my bedroom. There, a Balinese carved, wood carving work. And yes, the bed is already done. It's already tidy. Tied it up. And here's my cordless. This is on my side table. My cordless phone. Some bubbles. This is my eye drop. This one is my coconut oil, virgin coconut oil. Just for whenever I need by the bed. And this is my air condition remote control. And that's it. So I'm going to take this one. And then I know I have to get something else. My writing desk is done. My bathroom is nice and clean now. Going out again and that's it. Oh, this used to have cable channels, but I uh, suspended them because I don't watch TV. I only provide for the guests downstairs for each of the bed and breakfast room. So guests can always watch them. They have all kinds like uh, HBO, entertainment news or entertainment channels, movie channels, etc. Also here in my daughter's bedroom, look it's locked. It has, oops, this, okay, I'm trying to make a stable footage. I have, I am also training myself and this is my bed, my daughter's bedroom and she also has a TV there. Sorry for the clock, it's not set. And it also used to have cable, but she too never watched TV, so. And this is the bathroom that I have already created in such a way that the Bougainville comes in between all these bamboo railings. 
so there will be pink bougainvilles here even though i know the flowers wouldn't bloom since the sun doesn't shine directly these are all oil massage you know i think it's finished already coconut virgin coconut oil they are all hers lemongrass well that's finished that i bought i know i, I bought that what i've never checked would you believe diffuser oil i didn't know that she had she used to live here for vitamin e skin oil. i didn't know all this because she lived here for three years or two years i think and left back for new york in uh, 2012 but she did come back for a holiday here two months in the meantime and met me while i was still here before i went back to milan italy yeah. i forgot to show you the the, the painting of my friend here she's so kindly lending it to me so if anyone would like to purchase do contact me because i can't make my own purchase on this painting she paints so beautifully so that's it i know i'm forgetting something so i'm taking this now back but in the meantime i'm training myself to film with stability i need to stable lies my hand my arm in taking this okay all right it's already half past six but i didn't have tea so um suddenly i felt hungry and then i asked the housekeeper to improvise by making a crab suset like and uh, mix with pandan leaves that's why it has that tint of green color on it and i combine it with palm sugar uh, liquid sauce or what do you call that uh, anyway and uh, desiccated uh, coconut it would have been better if it were a fresh coconut so there it is my tea and it's 6 30 and i had three of them already and two left so blessed to wake up and have this for breakfast coconut drink from my coconut tree since I, we don't have fruits at home and i just came up with the idea that why not have a coconut instead in the morning so this is the second day it was full before i've already drunk half of it for breakfast so good tuesday afternoon to you because i think it's already past noon and uh, now i'm just gonna get ready to go and buy some uh, vegetables and uh, also i ran out of coffee but normal coffee nothing fancy and uh, also i would like to see a um, writing desk that uh, has reasonable price i have a feeling in this uh, mall that's why i am specifically going there so anyway let's see i will of course uh, take you with me now that i have storage all right so let's do it first of all since i have been living in Jakarta for more than one year now and like my budget is very very restricted very limited I have have to make do with cheaper range of cosmetics or makeup for example now I use a lot of local products which is not bad I'm still not accustomed to looking at this key hole or oh, no I'm tongue-tied all the time so anyway um, I still have my Christian Dior my Christian Dior um, foundation liquid you call that primer because now everybody's 
says primer and I don't know what primer is now. Primer is um, moisturizer, is it? I will make another video for the basic um, process of uh, uh, putting on my my uh, primer. Is it? Anyway, so instead of um, Christian Dior or Estee Lauder, which I used to wear, or Chanel, or, or even uh, there's something else that I would wear, Clarins, toner or um, uh, moisturizer, uh, I don't use those anymore. I've switched to cheaper range in Jakarta. First of all, I use the local products made in Bali, but I still buy the L'Oreal, which I've never, 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 never used to buy in the past. But now I start buying L'Oreal. I buy most of the times when I want to go uh, economical, uh, I would uh, opt for oil of Olay all this time. For example, in Korea and when we were living in Arabia, even in England, they all these uh, brand names, uh, cosmetics, so I would make do with oil of Olay. Uh, yeah, seven in UK. I love the product that's called seven. I really do. And of course, I would go to, to Boots uh, drugstore. Or, yeah, um, shop which I love. I love Boots. I love anything English. All right. So okay, let's start before I go ramble off to another topic. So first of all, I'm going to apply this. I don't have particular sponge on what to use, which to you just sometimes I put the liquid here, sometimes in there. It depends, it depends. There's no particular way of doing it. So I just put a dab like that. Sometimes I would just like that. <laughs> I would put here. There's no particular way of applying for me. Okay? whatever suits you and I don't put on my neck either most of my life I never applied on my neck only lately I try to imitate the expert but I don't know it doesn't suit me I, it, I just don't feel comfortable having um, foundation liquid on my neck so I don't put anything on my neck I wanted to leave it natural so see I could have used this one but I don't use this either I prefer my own hands because it's nice and warm in it makes the foundation thinner as well when you use those uh, sponges somehow it makes it uh, uh, look a bit rough that's why you have to put concealer and all that but because also of my age, I think I should put concealer, so I'm going to put concealer. And I say, said already in my previous video, this was left in my hotel bathroom in Milan before I come here on the second day. So probably the housekeeping uh, ladies left this just for promotional purpose. Anyway, so I just put here. This is a concealer it's almost finished this is where I put I use this okay I just put like that I don't wear ma uh, thick makeup like I've already mentioned I'm sorry for the noise in the background but that's a fan that finally worked worked I switch it on it worked all this time that I've been uh, placing there I uh, think it's almost a week it doesn't work it doesn't work the fan and then suddenly today it works even though there's a lot of breeze outside but I have a cur shower curtain in between so that makes it a little bit uh, hotter I think I'm done with this but okay this is it's very thin I don't like thick makeup okay here even though normally people put on the at the end of the application but I don't Okay, I just put it And then, oh yeah, I have to... Uh, yeah, let's just put like that. Oh, 
also you can put up here if you like I use this brush even that varies you know so I'm going to just wear something casual so my makeup is just very understated I keep looking there see I should look here no here this one accentuate a little bit here I can't see properly from the camera because it's a bit too far I need glasses <laughs> to take a look but anyway I can see here because there's a magnifying glass here that's why sometimes maybe I look a little bit crossed eyes since I have to switch from normal mirror to the magnifying one okay so let me for the eyebrow it's okay it's uh, I bought in Milan it's almost finished now so let's see so fake eyebrows don't suit me so what I do now just to be a little bit trendy look because I normally would apply this way and that's already sufficient but I'm going to use this brush just to spread it apart a little bit this is my first time proper proper makeup video that I don't feel anxious to stop the filming relaxed okay so And also it looks natural you know and unless you have thick brows then you can afford thickly but again the makeup in Milan is different people don't apply that much anymore but this is very nice rule to follow because then you are looking you look forward to every outfit on the kind of makeup you would you, you would apply with it so it's not boring at all hmm very difficult huh eyebrow I'm going to use highlight to make my eyebrows in better shape neater you know so you see stay authentic stay with how you look how how what accentuate your strong point on your face a little bit more of the black you don't have to stay old-fashioned you follow but follow accordingly follow um, that's reasonable for your kind of look and your kind of uh, uh, personality as well also your lifestyle of course you know I don't have social life I keep on repeating that because I'm so happy of the you know freedom it gives me by not having social life you know I've passed it I'm done you know so I don't need anymore to buy this to buy that to buy it because you know I buy things for myself what makes me happy that's that's all this concealer but I don't use it I use it only when I go out on special occasion you know clinic concealer instead I just use this free sample open to me you know that was left in the bathroom so again put this one the white one just to neaten up is there a word neaten the problem is with a person who speaks a few languages some it sounds funny when they speak like Melania Trump right there's always an accent and not only an accent 
but vocabulary that maybe is not used in English but used in Italian or in your nation and you use that in English so it sounds strange but bear with me all right I hope for your understanding because my accent is uh, mixed Indonesian Italian English British English American sometimes English Singapore a little bit here okay also no problem you can also do it you know okay yeah it's all right now right I don't wear mascara I know it's fashionable to wear upper lashes that are thicker and curly no by Bobby Brown I can apply that one thing about this pencil you know they 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 need sharpening every time so it, it gets shorter very 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 quick so you have to buy a new one okay now the pen seems to work so it's cooled me down a little bit I was sharpening the pencil what is in Milan brush okay and then this one now the thin the nose a little bit I have a very small nose oh it's so nice now the fan is working so I'm not perspiring the white one not the highlight this one who is almost finished okay that's it and then lipstick or red People now wear everything natural, you know, natural looking. You put on makeup, not to look like you applied makeup. I used to do that many years ago. I used to do that many years ago. And um, yeah, it's beautiful, like Meghan Markle, you know. But uh, you know, okay, I'm da I've done that too. But I love now to put on lipstick, colorful lipstick, or even eyeshadows, not grotesquely but properly nicely elegantly or understatedly this one i don't know what it is all from milan all mostly most of my makeup is from milan but you know you don't necessarily have to buy brand names all the time pupa pupa that's italian exactly you know what pupa means pupa means doll that is called pupa i need still some um, what you call uh, contour yeah pupa is italian means doll so on my channel is not the usual uh, trendy format of today okay you just watch it can be about italy it can be about indonesia it can be about housewife it can be about widow it can be about traveler it can be about living in other countries as expat it can be about um, uh, uh, um, uh, food it can be about men it can be about Italian language different cultures it's all natural so you don't know what to expect on my channel nothing formatted in such a way that everything is expected you know I get bored actually to, to watch all these other channels that in the end they're all the same you know eating the same food going to the veg vegan restaurant uh, house all minimalist looking uh, having a pet or a uh, moving or um, have a boyfriend or a husband or you know it's all the same there's nothing to expect anymore that's different getting married the wedding then the the, the, the pregnancy then okay it's nice but I don't belong to that group anymore because I'm past it so I'm just free-flowing on my channel 
you can learn Italian just by chance like today it's all natural flowing naturally nothing formatted or written or with bullet points of what to say okay on my video what to say no just whatever you know natural because you know why I like watching vlogs that are real vlogs that you don't know what to expect it's just daily mundane life that's what I like you know I don't like the the polished one that's already anesthetically you know um, designed and uh, planned I just like as it is so I hope you are liking my video because it's as it is so I'm gonna just put all this with this okay just over it of course you don't mm, put your lips like that and I have this like but I use at home I use this when or when I go out you know daily I use this Mac when I go out special uh, you know special event or special you know outing then I wear this but since I just go to the mall anyway, I just wear something cheap, local product, okay? The spray, okay. Just to set the makeup. Okay, that's it, done. My so this is how I'm dressed today. The shoes are not exactly right, but I don't have here. I have them in Milan. I don't know whether it's worth to buy in Jakarta just to match but uh, this is how I dress and this actually top is from my friend who came here from Genova and when I mentioned to her oh I like your blouse and she said do you want she said do you want she was so sweet and she gave this to me and of course I gave them also a lovely blouse from Jakarta a batik design blouse that I wore only twice so this is how I dress. I wish I could have the right uh, mirror, but I don't have. Taxi is coming now. It's called Gojek. Oh, it's already there, you see? It's already there. Can you see? Yeah, there's the taxi. Okay, it's Uber, like taxi. With my old sunglasses that I bought in, I think in France, in Côte d'Azur. So uh, I changed my mind. I'm not going to the other side of my place, but going back to town again. But this time, it's not the usual mall, but further into town, which I haven't been, I think, since the last visit in Jakarta. So on this stay, I've never been there. Now I'm going there. And then I'm just going to have lunch by myself since it's already past 1 p.m. Okay, talk to you later. Over there, there's the MRT. And that's the old mall that I mentioned for my computer repair.
bakeries and patisseries. What is this? Coach. This is American coach from New York. And then there's Metro. Metro. Main Street restaurants. Basilico, Italian restaurant, which I've never tried actually. There's Tony Roma, see? There's Tony Roma. I feel like eating there for a change. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. Sitting here at Pizza and Birra. Restaurant which Pietro and I tried already. It was good. The fish and chips, that is. I don't know the rest. We had a chance to sit here and have a nice meal together. So I followed so much this Russian uh, patisserie or cake maker, cake chef on my Instagram and he keeps on making cakes like this and now I see here in the mall where I am at this moment so I ordered it's a uh, mirtilli cake, lovely. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. Okay, so I'm done and I'm going home and this is the wine uh, store and I check for the price of uh, Italian Prosecco. Can you believe it's like 450 rupees, which means around uh, 20 euros or maybe 18 euros a bottle. Well, if you really must, at least they have it. You know, if you really must, at least they have it. But it's like, whew, so expensive. <laughs>